You're exactly right about that, Adam. Well, for the first time in 89 years, the Kentucky Derby will not kick off the Triple Crown. Instead, those honors will now go to the Belmont Stakes. Now, some modifications have been made to that race. It will be shorter than usual, and it will be quiet. No fans allowed in the stands. So that means the Preakness, right here in Maryland, will host the final leg of the Triple Crown. That's huge. But change, change isn't always easy. How will the, that affect the changes affect those hoping for a once in a lifetime moment? A moment like John Service got back in 2004. He's going to win by a colossal margin. Here is Smarty Jones. He wins the Preakness by a dozen lengths. He remains undefeated. The year was 2004. The horse that captured America's attention was Smarty Jones, winning the Kentucky Derby and then winning the Preakness Stakes by a record margin. He fell just shy of the Triple Crown, finishing second in the Belmont Stakes, but forever a favorite, especially in the eyes of his trainer, John Service. You know, I've been very fortunate. I've had some nice horses. Um, I don't know if I ever have a horse like that. He was a, he was a very special horse. Now, 16 years after Smarty's miraculous run, Service is training another Triple Crown hopeful, mischievous Alex. But training during a pandemic and with the races pushed to new dates comes with some challenges. You don't want them to lose any fitness. You don't want them to not train enough where they're feeling too good and they end up hurting themselves. So you, know, you have to keep them going. You have to keep them fit. The first Triple Crown race day is now set for June 20th with the Belmont Stakes. The Kentucky Derby is now set for the first Saturday in September, and that means we could see a Triple Crown winner at the Preakness Stakes in Maryland on October 3rd. I, I like it because it's a local, uh, obviously a local track. Uh, I like the feel of the place. Uh, it could help the, the, the region in uh, racing, the Northeast region. I think it could help greatly. John Finelli owns New York Traffic, a horse that qualified for this year's Derby when it was originally set to be in May, and now hopes the fall weather and extra prep time will benefit his horse even more. And while the atmosphere at the track will be different, at least horse racing is returning. Just to get back racing, that's all. Looking forward to things opening up and uh, getting back in business. And now the Preakness will be held on the very first Saturday in October at the track in Baltimore. And the very next day, well, that's when the Ravens and Redskins match up. And you can catch that game right here on WUSA 9. A very busy weekend that weekend in sports. And Leslie, I cannot wait. You are not the only one, Charlotte. Thank you. A special